I love soups and I love having them all year round whether it's summer or it's winter whether it's day or it's night although when I started following this lifestyle there weren't many options available to me so I went to my kitchen and I started experimenting trying to come up with soups that were both very very healthy yet really satisfying to your taste buds and fortunately I did come up with three really nice soup recipes that I'm going to be sharing with you in this video so when can you have a soup you can either have a soup as a substitute for your grain meal if you're looking to have something light or if you're looking to go grain free for a day or every once in a while you can replace your salad with a soup okay so let's start with the recipes the first soup we're going to make is the creamy pumpkin soup this is a best recipe till now the ingredients that you'll need are three cups of coconut milk always make sure that you make your coconut milk at home i've given the method in the description below half a kilo of red pumpkin one sprig of rosemary two tablespoons of thyme one tablespoon of salt and half a small green chili first chop your pumpkin remember to leave the skin on once that's done, add it to a steamer and let it steam for about 10 to 15 minutes or until it's soft. Then transfer your pumpkin to a blender along with the rest of the ingredients. Blend everything till it's smooth. Notice how we're only cooking the pumpkin and not the coconut milk. Now, coconut in its raw natural form is wholesome, but heating it converts it into cholesterol, which causes all these diseases in your body. It's perfect the way that nature has given it to us. Don't alter its natural composition by heating it. Once you've poured this soup, top it with any vegetables you like. I'm using beans, broccoli, carrots, and peas, all of which I've lightly steamed. Use only seasonal vegetables. This soup is my favorite <laughs> out of all the dishes so far. Just see the beauty of natural food. We've added no spices and yet it's bursting with flavor and that's because of the rosemary and thyme try to remove those heat inducing spices from your food and replace them with herbs such as coriander curry leaves basil mint thyme rosemary lemongrass there's just so many if you're putting too many spices in your food in the form of garam masala and chili powder you have no idea how much heat you're putting in your body every day i'm not telling you to give up on flavor but try to bring in flavor in your food using herbs and not spices Okay, time for soup number two, the green papaya soup. You'll need one unripe green papaya, two cups of coconut milk, two cups of water. For the flavoring, you'll need three stalks of fresh lemongrass, two teaspoons of coriander seeds, half a small green chili chopped into small pieces, a half inch piece of fresh ginger, one tablespoon of lemon juice, and two teaspoons of salt. Once you've peeled your papaya, chop it into small pieces. Just make sure that your pieces aren't too big, otherwise it won't be steamed properly later. Next, take a steamer and transfer your papaya chunks to the steamer and put them to steam for about 15 minutes. While the papaya is steaming, just take a shallow pan and dry roast the coriander seeds, green chili, ginger and lemongrass together. By the way, I just chopped the lemongrass into pieces. Add in a little bit of water and stir till the flavors are soaked in. Add this mixture to your blender along with the other ingredients water, coconut milk, steamed papaya, lemon juice and salt and blend everything till it's well combined. Next, it's time to serve. So pour this soup into bowls and garnish with some fresh coriander. Now this soup is also pretty good. The lemongrass lends it a nice Thai flavor. You can easily have just this as a main meal if you add some more vegetables to it. Okay, so let's move on to our last soup and the easiest one of the three, the avocado soup. You'll need three tomatoes, which I've chopped after removing their seeds, one cup of carrot juice, three cups of coconut milk, half an avocado, and for the flavoring, two tablespoons of coriander, two tablespoons of parsley, half a small green chili, two tablespoons of lemon juice, and two teaspoons of salt. So to prepare the soup, simply add all your ingredients to your blender and blend until smooth. And your soup is ready. No, I'm not kidding. It's that easy because this one is a cold soup. It's raw, so it doesn't involve any cooking, which also makes it the healthiest out of the three because of all the nutritional values that remain intact. For the toppings, add any vegetables of your choice. Now, since the base is already raw, I like to keep the toppings raw as well. So it becomes 100% raw meal. So I'm just gonna add some bell peppers, coconut, coriander, and pumpkin seeds. And now you have this rich, nutrient-dense, raw, vegan meal ready to eat. It's it's thriving with all the goodness of plant-based foods. No oils, no spicy masalas, and trust me, it tastes good. Otherwise, I wouldn't have filmed a video about it. So these were the three soups. Let me know in the comments below what you're looking to try the most, what you like, or even things you don't like. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.